Hey guys, we're back and uh, we're gonna be showing you how to make this cordage. And this is cordage made out of cedar bark. And you can use it for fishing line. You can make it a little bit bigger and use it to support your shelter. And so let's just dive right on into it. So we got this piece of bark here. This is the inner side. This is the outer side. And this is from a cedar tree. Um, you can use lots of other materials such as dog bane or nettle. Um, cattail a lot of different things willow but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take these strands right here and I'm gonna peel these into as long a strips as I can and we'll set them to this we'll set them off to the side so that way we got our material I'm just gonna peel them like that okay and we'll just basically you're just gonna do that a whole bunch of times and, and just gather some stuff so you don't run out and you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. Okay, so I've got these strips that I peeled out a little bit earlier. And we're just gonna take one like this and you're gonna fold it in half. I got a few here because it's easier to work with a couple. And uh, okay, you're gonna grab it in the halfway point, a little bit more than half actually because you don't want where you bind in your next piece um, to be in the same spot because it'll make a weak point. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start twisting this. Just kind of get it started here. Then once you get a twist in it, you're going to twist this top one away from you. Twist it away from you. So you're going to twist it away. Then you're going to take these fingers down here and you're going to grab this one and pull it away from you and twist the top one towards you. So you're twisting away and pulling it towards you and then pulling the bottom one away from you. And then you keep doing that. Repeat, repeat. And what that does is that keeps this cordage from uh, unwinding and breaking. So you just keep on twisting. And you grab when you get to this point you grab another one of these another piece here grab another piece and you're just gonna lay it in there like that right over the top of it and twist it right in with the existing You twist, twist, twist. Okay. And then eventually, so see we're already getting our line here. Now we're down to where we got to add a section into here. So we'll add, grab another section of bark and put it right on in there. You know, just lay that right. We're gonna lay this piece in with that piece, just like that. And you hold, use this finger to hold them together. And eventually, you end up with this nice long string and you can just keep on doing that until you get, you know, you can make 50, 100, 10, doesn't matter. You can make unlimited amount of cordage like this if you got a cedar tree or some kind, kind of cordage making material like uh, what we were talking about. And it's very, very useful. And then once you get it here, you got all this, this stuff. And at the end, once you get it, once you get your cordage to the end, you can take it and just, I just usually take it when I'm done with it and just make a knot, half inch here, like this. And that's my stopping point. Knot it off, like that. And you can leave it or you can cut it off. I just usually just pinch it there. You got some good, nice cordage. Now, 
I'll bring you over to the fire. Okay. Now, once you have this cordage, if you want, you can take it and just pass it right over the top of your flame here. And then just kind of take your fingers like that. And that takes off all those little burrs. All right, well, that's how you make cordage. I mean, it's a pretty simple process. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. And uh, until next time, this is Bigfoot, out. Mysterious creature of the woods, hairy with big feet. No one could seem to find him. Nobody knows where he sleeps. Is he a myth or is he real? Nobody seems to know. He's the star of this show, Bigfoot, Bigfoot.